So we're only a few episodes into season 5 of The Flash so far, and the show's already been making audiences everywhere ask a ton of different questions. Like, what's the deal with Iris and her and Barry's daughter, Nora West Allen? Speaking of Nora, how many changes has she made to the timeline just by popping into the West household and spouting the show's most recent catchphrase? This house is bitchin'. And probably most importantly, who's manipulating her behind the scenes? I mean, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but the writers have thrown in a few clues that may make it seem like Nora's decision to run back to the present wasn't entirely her choice. In the third episode, The Death of Vibe, we saw Nora get scared, or at least nervous, when Sherlock mentioned the possibility that someone could have convinced her to travel back in time. Most not as dangerous as punching a falling satellite, right? And yet, that is the moment when you made the decision to act that decision. Did you come to it on your own? And in the episode Newsflash, Nora specifically stated that she was hurt that her mom wouldn't talk to her about her abilities, implying that she learned about them from someone else. Do you know what hurt the most about learning I had powers? Not hearing it from my mom. So yeah, just some random clues thrown in here and there. Seriously though, I am curious. Who's Nora been talking to about all this? As far as her powers go, obviously it wasn't Iris, considering the whole power negating chip thing, and I highly doubt anyone else on Team Flash would have asked Nora to run back in time since I'm not entirely sure they even knew about her powers in the first place. For all we know, future Iris didn't bother telling Team Flash about Nora's powers just to make absolutely sure as few people as possible know what Nora can really do. And I'm not even entirely sure anything they have, like Harry's metahuman watch, would have picked up on the chip anyway. So if it wasn't anyone we know that's currently working with Team Flash, then who told Nora about her powers? Well, as a lot of other people already started theorizing, the show's made it pretty obvious that it's probably the reverse Flash. I mean, seriously, the dude keeps showing up in the Arrowverse, even after it seems like he should definitely be dead and remain dead at some point. Plus, Eobard's made himself very well connected to Barry's life, and pretty much made it his personal mission to screw over Barry just because he saw something in a museum that one time, so it's pretty easy to assume that he's involved with any Flash-related mystery to some degree. Plus, it makes some sense that Nora would have been told about her powers from someone who has some knowledge of the Speed Force, and since Barry's gone, the writers pretty much tossed out Wally, and nobody's mentioned Jesse in a while, there's really not a whole lot of Speed Force experts left that can walk Nora through how her powers work. Plus, let's also not forget probably the two most direct pieces of evidence we've gotten so far. That being how, during the fight against Barry in the News Flash episode, Nora easily pulled off Thawne's signature hand phasing attack in one swift move, despite not even being able to phase properly when she first started saving people with Barry in the season's first episode, and in the same episode, we also saw Nora demonstrate the ability to rewind time, something that, in the comics, we've really only seen from Daniel West the brother of Iris, and one of the reverse Flashes. Now to be fair, I guess Mr. Miles, the Flash Museum curator, could have been the one to talk to Nora, since it seems like she spent a lot of time in the museum, and probably could have formed some kind of a friendship with him, but that just raises a whole bunch of other questions. Seriously, how would Miles know that Nora had powers? I mean, sure, for all we know, he probably spent a bunch of time studying the Speed Force with all the equipment left behind in the Flash Museum, but at the same time, why would he be doing that in the first place? He's supposed to be a museum curator, how would he know how to actually use anything in there? That's like saying somebody working at the Air and Space Museum also knows how to fly a plane. It's possible, but highly unlikely. So yeah, on the surface, it doesn't seem like we could consider the museum's curator a possible suspect here, but what if it turns out the one convincing Nora to screw around in the past is both Eobard Thawne and Mr. Miles. Yeah, I, I know it sounds crazy, but at the same time, we know that the comic book version of Thawne eventually became curator of the Flash Museum, as we saw in 2016's The Flash number 25, so it's not exactly hard to believe that the CW might be pulling from some of these stories for inspiration for this season. Plus, without a positive education on the Flash or the Speed Force from her mom, her dad, or Team Flash, the next best quote-unquote Flash expert in Nora's eyes might just be the reverse Flash who happens to be posing as the curator of the Flash Museum. And we already know that Eobard has a penchant for pretending to be other people to get what he wants, so there's that. I wonder what face I'll be wearing next time we meet. Flash. So there you go. Based on everything we've been shown and told about Nora, I'm fairly certain that we're going to find out at some point that she's been working with the Reverse Flash. And he's what led to her going back in time and helping Barry during the Season 4 finale. Why would he want Nora going back to help Barry? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe Eubart thought he could trick Nora into doing stuff in the past that actually leads to Barry's disappearance while telling her it would actually save him, just because it'd be safer than Eobard actually doing anything personally. Or maybe it's the other way around, and Eobard wants to either set up Barry's return or keep him from disappearing 
disappearing in the first place for some reason or another. Honestly, out of the two, I kind of like the idea that Eobard's trying to save Barry more than assuming the writers are just giving us the usual Flash versus Reverse Flash type of story. I mean, it'd give the writers some extra material from the comics to pull from, like those plot points from the Flash Rebirth storyline that I talked about in my last Flash video, and it'd be an interesting twist, especially if it turns out that the version of Eobard working with Nora turned out to be the time-traveling good version that still wanted to be the Flash, and whatever happens during this season is what pushes him to be a villain. Either way, I want to point out that if it does turn out that Nora's working with the Reverse Flash, I don't think she'll actually turn out to be a full-fledged villain. I know, I know, the writers are really going out of their way to set up some dark secret for Nora. Like I know we cover the Reverse Flash techniques, the apparent worrying that Sherlock discovered her secret, the issues she has with Future Iris, again very reminiscent of Daniel West's relationship with his father in the comics, and I'm sure the writers are going to play this up if Slash Win the Thawne reveal eventually gets dropped. But at the same time, I think if this is the direction the show is going, I think we're actually going to get something more like the fake out reveal we got for Zoom's identity back in season 2. Remember when fake Jay got killed and Zoom took his mask off and everybody lost their shit? All before the show confirmed that this was actually Hunter Zolomon? I'm thinking the writers are going to do something similar for this season. Like maybe Team Flash figures out that Nora wanted to come back and change the past, somehow they figure out that Eobard's involved, they jump to conclusions like they tend to do. Well, my first choice is Henry Hewitt. Hewitt is a scientist. Clearly, he's trying to make something of his life. And he's got a long history of violence, according to his police record. He seemed like such a nice guy. And everybody gets all pissy with each other, but eventually Eobard gets the sh kicked out of him, and Nora patches things up with Team Flash before she heads back home and makes things right with Feature Iris. I don't know, that's a thought, but it is definitely something I could see the show doing over the course of season 5. But anyways guys, that's my take on whether or not Nora's going to turn out to be a villain in this season of The Flash. If you guys agreed with anything I said in this video, or if you have your own theories you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, otherwise I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and click that like button, and if you're new, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too. I've also got links to my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Patreon in the description. You should probably check those out too. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can click the link to my last video. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Alright, and I will see you all next time.